Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Doki Doki Literature Club. We're closing in on the final side stories, and I'm excited to see what next is in store for these girls. I love these girls. We, we all love them. Look, I had to bring the pink shirt back. You already know what it is. All right, I believe we did balance last, so now it's reflection. Yuri and Monica. Let's do this. Okay, so it starts off with Monica already asking questions. I expected it to go into my little mono, the little monologue thing. Not mine, because the MC is not in here. Alright. Am I bothering you? Huh? No. Like, nothing even happened. Okay. Just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectations to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself that I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialize. Even if it takes a little bit of prodding because you don't like to take your eyes off that damn book. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. <laughs> So it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone. Or there are too many people. Or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Your glances around the room at Sayori Natsuki. She's like these suckers right here is what I'm talking about. Sayori has her head cocked back and her mouth open. Trying to ke catch pieces of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air. But pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Well, that just means Natsuki has terrible aim. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookie. What a waste, though. They've become really good friends, haven't they? I'm happy. Oh, yeah, because last side story, they had to, you know, find that balance, if you will. Yeah, that's what the thing was called. Uh, but how y'all doing, by the way? Hope y'all doing good. Having a good day, good week. All that good stuff. Forgot to say it in the beginning. Sari seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energetic side, so I suppose it works out well. Yeah, come to think of it, you and I have had, had many chances to talk one on one, haven't we? Though that may be partially my fault, since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members because I'm the freaking president. Not at all. Not at all. I, pro I probably formed the habit of drawing minim minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during times like, excuse me, like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I, I just read. I don't have any friends outside of this. Oh, but I like it that way though. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of this series. You know, I can't get out of it. There are stored there are, oh my gosh. There are still two more books after this one. I guess those long book books suit you well, since you spend so much time reading. Do I need to drink some water? What is wrong with my freaking talking? Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I'll read anything with death and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like, romance? Well, yeah, about that one. There are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh, come on, Yuri. You know exactly what I mean. Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do too. Um... Maybe when I was in middle school, I outgrown that shit now. I mean, when I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. So I just, it kind of felt like, please don't make me think about the past. I don't want to. Sorry, I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. I told you I grew out of it. Really? Even if it was just between us? Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. 
Ouch. <laughs> that, that's fucked up. Yo. Uh, sorry. I, I swear I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it's my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past, too. You know, things I feel embarrassed to re-experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of things. It happens to the best of us. For instance, Asuki's interest in manga reminds me a bit of how intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think of how she'll probably grow out of it, too. Hey, did I hear you talking about me? Uh, no, we were just... Oh, we were just talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Nasuki? Hmm? Like a couple years ago, I guess. I was already sort of into it before that, but I wasn't really going hard until then. Oh yeah? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? You see how she's asking Nasuki more questions about manga, but I remember back then she didn't like that shit. I don't know. I guess... Let me think. It was after I discovered a series that I really liked. Yeah, it was just like, I was like really fed up with a lot of things. And I got super into this one series that really related to my life. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me. and wanted to be by myself. <laughs> kind of like Yuri. Monica! No, don't put me out under the bus like that. Sorry. That's completely wrong anyway, bitch. It's still cool that you both really found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it seems like they help you out a lot through the hard times. You know it. Uh, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, uh, it's technically slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you think it would go if you stacked up the whole series? Nasuki estimates by holding her hand high above her head, sizing up an imaginary stack. Well, you know, she's short, so it's not that high. I should get one of these mangas that's like 50 volumes long so that I could stay, so I could say I read more than you. Not that I have the money for that, though. <laughs> that's funny, but that's not funny, because I, 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 get, I get it. Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know. I was just joking. I can never actually read books like yours. It's way too boring for me. Yori shoots a glare at Nasuki. It's not boring. Chill, I said for me, not for you. Don't get your panties in twist. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. She has nothing to say. Siri, are those from the floor? No. Gross! Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands aren't dirty. You literally just picked up the cookies from the floor. Yes, they are. Just do it. The oils are there even if you can't see them. Fine. Sari trots out the door and Nasuki follows. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Well, she did kind of correct herself. Harley. She was so condescending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I already understand it's not for everyone. But she knows well enough how much these mean to me. Tom Watch is leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about. It. I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and what they don't like. Especially in a literature club. So I should figure out how to meditate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books, and also your ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well this is something that I'll have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Nasuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. That man. Either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki, though. I trust you, Monica, but I'm still skeptical. Yeah, we already know them two fight a lot. They clash. Okay, everyone. Famous words. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. 
but that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Well, sorry. I just feel like I'm being accused or something. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm sorry if it came off that way. She's a lying bitch. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect. Reflect. <laughs> I tell you, they always use the words in the side stories. On the power of language. And I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club. Don't you think? I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinions a lot. So I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure! The cool thing about language is it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control of how we want the other person to feel when receiving our thoughts. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, basically anything. For example, Sarah, what's your favorite food? Um, yeah, that's a lot to choose from. I have a lot of foods I like. I have them organized by category. Should I start with snacks, or do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh jeez, maybe I shouldn't have asked your ass. Okay, how about your favorite fruit? Do you categorize those two? That's easy, cherries. Really? I always thought cherries taste nasty. What? Cherries are delicious. Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction coming from you. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. Well, how does it make you feel? I don't know, sad? Defensive maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. What of it? See, the reason you had such a strong reaction was because wasn't just because I don't like cherries, it's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. She's, she's like teaching a class right now. I'm challenging Sarah's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, 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 hold on. How is that objective? When you just said it was your only your own opinion, it has to do with the way our brains interpret the words. Like, just don't interrupt me again. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Like, Sari, let's rewind for a second and pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if I said that instead I tried cherries and they're not for me? It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, then that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. Okay, so cherries was kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, I just talked about my feelings, and Sierra didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with each other, it's like we received an invitation to talk about our differences. Yuri? You don't need to take notes. I'm not going to quiz you or anything. I, I, I know that. I was just... Mm, sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. I mean, but you're do, you are doing it. But does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah. I just feel like I shouldn't have to put on my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across other people. I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help you turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, cherry hater. <laughs> Come on. Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to demonstrate. What the heck? I've been duped. <laughs> Sorry, Sayori. I'll make it up to you later. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. How about a cherry sundae? You are welcome to dupe me any time, my beloved president. Buying your people's loyalty? How deplorable. Oh, like you wouldn't turn out a free Sunday, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That, that was... I, I mean... I was reading and not keeping track of them. Oh, that's enough. We're, we're definitely getting off topic here. 
So now that we have the gist of it, how about we try it with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Yuri, do you want to start? Um, why'd you pick me? You know why. Well, I, I'd rather not, no. How come? Well, because I don't see how anything productive can come from that. Oh my gosh, I feel argument coming on. It's just going to start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Make sure y'all don't do shit stupid. Let's just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to coddle my feelings, you know. I always think it's more respectable to just speak your mind since I do the same shit anyways. Respectable? Yuri's expression changes at that word. As Monica recalls, being respected was the crux of the matter for Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like... It's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I should perform more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories that are imaginative and sophisticated behind the surface level. Oh, well that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were going to say that manga's for children or something. Like I don't hear enough of that one though. But there is plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I've read my own fair share when I was younger. What are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? I knew it was going to start a fucking fight. Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you imply that manga is in immature, then aren't you implying that someone is mature, immature for being into it? Uh, I... Mm-hmm. What your ass got to say now, Yuri? Nothing. She has nothing. Still nothing. Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Nasuki. Nobody's immature. Here comes Sayori. I've read Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy, and I love them both in their own way. Okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about... This is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? I knew it was just going to make people upset. I, I'm not upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. <laughs> oh, that's the sun dairy coming out, coming out of her. <laughs> but I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicions were confirmed. That's not true at all. You're making up su assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being myself and trying to mind my own damn business. What? Have you looked in a mirror? Tell me again about respect after calling all my interests immature. You can't. Please stop, y'all. Please stop. Oh, 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 oh no. This is getting, this is getting terrible. More terrible than the fight they had in the, in the original game. Please? You don't mean the things you're saying right now. But let's just be friends. Um, I don't think either one of them got shit to say. Yeah, they fucking don't. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. You should have known already that this was going to happen. You already knew this, Monica. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and so solve other people's problems next time, okay? I know, Monica, like, I know you're trying to be, you know, well, now you're trying to be the fix, fix it to everybody's fucking problems, but obviously, that ain't working. Yuri's piercing words send the club room into a choked silence as she gathers her things. Uh-oh, she leaves. I knew that was coming. Nasuki gonna leave, too. Oh, no? Holy crap. 
I've never heard her sound like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you weren't very nice either, so... I was just saying... How did this even happen? It's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I knew how bad I am with dealing with conflicts. Yeah, you, you are bad at this shit. It was a really stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault. And it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we're sensitive about the things we really actually love. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not in the manga. But if you actually look down on other people for it, that's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place, though. I'm not sugarcoating things. It's not about sugarcoating things. It's about just recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her. Not just the way we talk to each other, right? I, I mean, Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow, I'm just saying that instinctively. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm just setting myself up to cause even more problems. This wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good to, that the truth finally came out. Because I could just move on now. But, mm, it's fine. I promise. I don't think she really, I don't think she's serious. I don't think she means it. Let's just get our mind off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding Yuri's superiority, com superiority uh, complex. Don't be mean now. I'll talk or read manga or whatever you want. But don't be mean to my friends, though. Sorry. I'm just bitter. See, I told you she wasn't fine. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but... I at least know that we're all good people and don't want to hurt each other. This is all just a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Nasuke and Yuri have always engaged with each other, the least out of everyone. And this is the reason. As Sarah and Nasuke proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. Will the club really just have to come to terms with the fact that some members would be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, a solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Well, damn. I mean, that was it? That was for the, that was for the first part? Oh, I'm so, I was having too much fun with that. Too much fun. A new day arrives. Sierra arrives to club room earlier than usual. That is, not late. As she appears, or as she enters, it appears to be empty still. So she sits down at a desk and pulls out a sheet of paper, primed to jot down her thoughts. Sierra has made a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feelings onto paper whenever possible, as it tends to serve as her best inspiration for poetry. Dot dot dot. My heart feels vacant because a ship sailed away. Yo. Yo. Eh, eh. Nasuki? Nasuki pokes her head out from behind the clo closet door. So Nasuki was actually there first. <laughs> Sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. But it would have been a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. I doubt you want me listening in on your poetry then. Yeah. Not without warning. Thanks for realizing that. Should I let you finish that up then? Oh no, it wasn't... I mean, I just do it whenever it's convenient. You're not interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she's out in the hallway. Why? Well... Just in case she runs into Yuri. 
Sometimes Yuri is too nervous to come in the club room by herself, so... Oh. Uh, Jeez, does, really, does Yuri really let things bother her for that long? She can't control her feelings. For some people, it's really hard to cope when you get a bad thought in your head. Maybe you could distract yourself for a little while, but as soon as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. Are you speaking from experience, freaking Sierra? Hmm, maybe that's why she knows so much about that. Ugh. Huh? I just want us to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore it and move on. But that's how that's not how you solve shit. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's so stupid. Her opinion of me doesn't even matter anyway. Besides, it makes me feel really guilty, and I hate that too. It's okay to have feelings. It doesn't make you weak. But I'm um, sure about that. Let's figure this out together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with a happy scene. Maybe that will help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had to have that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe. I, I doubt it though. Because my friends and other people make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore them. But something about it really got to me this time, and I hate that I'm letting it happen. Is it because it came from Yuri? No, why would that matter? I, I mean, well, well, maybe. I just I hate that she thinks she's so much better than me, just because she likes to pretend that she's all sophisticated. Yeah, that's what it is. At least other people decide that they don't like me, or manga, for whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good to even give it a chance. I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Would you give Yuri's books a chance? Huh, <laughs> after this? Nah, absolutely not. What about before this? Well... I would until I got bored, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually keep an open mind, then it's not hard to realize that a story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see. But you know, I kind of like Yuri's books. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? Sierra shakes her head. I like them both. Don't try to make me compare. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest and fun and easy to just let go with. And the fantasy has a lot to interpret and uncover. And it's really rewarding to have some good quiet time together with. But the most important thing is, both of, well, both the manga and the fantasy are true to themselves. So, I love them both. And I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. And I just feel like, maybe, Maybe they have more in common that you than you would think. Mm. Uh oh, the sad news is coming back. How do you get along with everyone so well? I always get into fights with people. Like first it was with Monica when I was new to the club. Then it was you, and now it's Yuri. I'm, I'm like always, oh, that person is being such a jerk. And if they just realize that, then we could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the the reality that everybody's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't know why. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. This feel this the whole this whole side story was supposed to be for Yuri and Monica to basically talk, but it seems like it's more them two than them than the other two right now. I hate it. Nasuki Siri puts a comforting hand on Nasuki's shoulder. You're a wonderful person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes Sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same types of communication. 
and it feels like you magically connect with them. But other times, even if both people are really nice, it's easier for them to misunderstand each other or to get the communication wrong. It's something that Yuri struggles with a lot too. It can be really hard. It takes a lot of like reflection and self-awareness. That's like the fourth time she, they said reflect and vulnerability. I, I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. I always have to be the strongest. What do you mean? Tell me, tell me about that part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like, my friends. And I guess my dad. Ooh, I forgot about that. When I don't get good grades, or even stupid things like if my room isn't clean. So what am I going to do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then it's just letting them win. But I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something goes wrong and there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then I just I get really angry and I find ways to blame everyone else instead. Do you see yourself as better than Yuri? Dot, dot, dot. If I said that, then I would just sound really full of myself. No. Our thoughts and feelings are two different things. If, even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them if we want to learn more about themselves. That's a part of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have feelings that we don't like. I... I... I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's a ju judgmental know-it-all who's stuck in her edgy phase and I'm just way above that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. You are not your feelings. But you are not your feelings. I say again. Say that to yourself, out loud. Da, da, da. She can't say this shit. I've heard that before, you are not your feeling. I've heard someone say that before. Fine, I am not my feelings. The way I like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta see each other every day. And even if you can ignore each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then. And it's going to make you feel like poop, like straight shit. So the other option is to get to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other. And maybe even help each other change for the better. Does that help you understand? No. How do you know so much about this stuff? She's dealing with it too, you just don't know. Or maybe she's about to tell you. I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. I knew it. She was saying it, kind of, called depression. Never mind, not kind of. She actually said it. Depression? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. What is this shit? What, I'm, what am I doing? I thought nobody else knew about her depression. Now this is making me mad. I thought nobody else knew about her depression but Monica. Oh my. This just makes this so weird now because I could have sworn in the regular game nobody else knew about her depression but Monica. Because Monica was messing with it. But she knows. She's probably going to tell everybody at some point. Okay, let me get back on track. But you're like the happiest person I know. I am not my feelings. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get it now. I want to be a good person like you. Aw, you little sweetheart. We're all good people. You and Yuri and Monica. And I think Yuri will eventually learn that about you. Nasuki remains silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Siri's kind reassurance, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seemed to fill her, as though flowing from a wound inside her. We already know. Was it a result of her vulnerability? No. 
it wasn't as though she was inflicted a wound after becoming vulnerable. It was though she began to discover, rediscover an old wound, one that simply cannot be bandaged and left alone any longer. Oh, damn, great conversation. Now it's supposed to be their turn. It's gotta be their turn, yep. Yuri, what are you doing all the way over here? I was looking for you this whole time. I, I, please don't yell at me. Oh, I'm not going to yell at you. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair of me to put everyone on the spot like that. Next time I won't just try to jump in and solve everyone's problems. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. Yeah. You're not mad at me? I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. Yuri curls up, recalling the details of the argument. I can't even have a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. That sounds like Natsuki too. Hold on, that's not what happened at all. Let's talk about this, okay? Do I really want to? Yuri pauses for a second, then manages a nod. Monica takes a seat next to her on the staircase. I'm having a lot of negative thought patterns and I just can't get away from them. What kinds of negative thought patterns? Like, everyone hates me. Especially Natsuki. So they really... They think they both hate each other. Wow. I mean, I'm not surprised, but like... Just wow. That's terrible. I don't think Natsuki hates you. How do you know? Because... Monica thinks back to the time that she herself found herself in an altercation with Natsuki. How a display of maturity from Monica was enough for Natsuki to reevaluate her own feelings as well. I think, I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. Like, she acts mean when she feels the need to protect herself. But you know, she's really not a bad person. In fact, I think she can really be thoughtful and considerate. She just, well... I guess from the way it works is that she wants to receive some degree of kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh. Um, but that means the burden is on me then. And I don't know how to say things that make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... Yuri shakes her head and tugs, her, and tugs on her hair. It's okay, Yuri. You don't need to beat yourself up. I think anyone would like you if they had the chance to get to know you. Well, unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talking of anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Nasuki even said she found it more respectable when people speak their mind. So I did, and then she hated me anyway. That was enough to confirm my fears. But. But Sari and, I, Sari and I like you, and we've gotten to know you a lot by now, right? Mm-hmm. Yuri doesn't seem to have a response. Yeah, she really doesn't. Hey, what do you actually think of Natsuki? I... I don't think about her. That's the problem. That's not what I meant, really. <laughs> I, I, I just... Mm, I was just wondering if you had an opinion of her. She doesn't have shit. I... I do. Never mind. I take it back. What is it then? Nasuki seems to bring out the worst in me. And I feel really ashamed of it. I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person. So for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior, despite my taste? That's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her. And it makes me think bad things about her. But every one of us seems to like her, so the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong, again. And my feelings about her are wrong. And I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and coincidental. No, Yuri. Feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. That's the thing, though. Feelings are never right or wrong, you know? They're just... They're just a state of being that we always don't have control over. But that doesn't mean we have to let it control us. I feel like that's something I've learned. 
when I first started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Or we can, you know, just acknowledge that they exist and try to understand them better. I can never be mad at you for feeling a certain way. It's about how you handle them now. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. Mm. Yuri wears a dejected expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature and so good with people. I feel like I'm such a child in comparison. Oh, Yuri, you're not, no, you're not right. I'm far from perfect, but these are learned skills. They didn't naturally come to me either. It's really hard to like reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from thoughts. I still have this problem to this day. Dot, dot, dot. I just want to be a good person. Notice how her and Nasuki said the exact same thing. They want to be good like they're not good. Well, I think it takes a good person to get this far. That's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate it to her. Communicate what? How I feel. How it makes me feel frustrated and upset when she's so negative and dismissive of the things that mean so much to me. And how it... How it reminds me of me. Because I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know that telling yourself you're better than everyone else it's just a defense mechanism. Oh my gosh, she knows what Natsuki is. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. But I'm just just tired of getting in the way. I can't stand it when the peace is disturbed like this. Disturbing the peace. We don't like that. Yeah, you can't focus on your reading when the peace is disturbed, right? Because I... Because the literature club should be happy for everyone. Dot dot dot. Monica looks at Yuri in adoration. I feel like Sierra must be rubbing off on me because I really want to hug you now. Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. N no, um, I, I mean, well, if you really wanted to then I wouldn't mind, so... Monica pulls her into her shirt and brace. You're so gentle. And I love when you communicate your feelings. I feel lucky to get that side of you. And I'm sure Nasuki will too. Whenever you get the chance to talk to her about it, I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter? What a great idea! Just because I'm not good at talking. Especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me. And I forget to say all the important things. And I say things I don't even mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Yuri's face hardens with determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me. Like they do for you and Sayori. My personality just isn't suited for that. And I wouldn't want it to be, actually. But something I learned is that friendships don't always magically appear out of thin air. For instance, I never would have seen myself making friends with someone like Sayari. We're opposite in a lot of different ways. But I'm friends with her because she can put so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along. I think it was the same with you. You gave me a lot of time and patience. And I wonder if if she feels the same way. Nasuki? Yuri nods. I always thought that if I wanted to make more friends, I had to be somebody that I'm not. There's then there, that there's a type of person or a magical formula that I have to follow to order and some to make someone like me. And that's just like me to think that. I'm always so occupied with myself that I fail to understand other people. Yuri shakes her head. Friendship happens when you think about the other person. When you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them. And trust that, that they also want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my observations 
in the literature club. Observations? Monica is caught by surprise. Yuri's also always kept to herself so much that it's so unusual for her to hear her suddenly talk about the club like this. But Yuri gently smiles to herself. You always let me listen to your thoughts about people. Sayori too. And it makes me happy because I learned a lot of things. That's so sweet. I had no idea it meant that much to you. Monica never thought much of it, but in the past week, Yuri always seemed to be especially attentive when it came to the problems and concerns of others. Always wanted to listen and learn about her friends in the club. That is, you know, very, very, very nice. It's true though. Sierra and Monica are naturally more comfortable with other people and can more easily work through situations of conflict. But that doesn't make them better people. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses and a captivity to improve. And the first step towards improving oneself is reflection and self-awareness. That's like the fifth time. It's something that Yuri never, never gave herself credit for, but that Monica can recognize as an incredible trait. And with that, her confidence in the club is restored. A very shy girl with long, pretty hair is wandering the bustling lunchtime hallways, her fist pressed into her collarbone. This must be an like the next day, I guess. When she finds the literature club president's classroom, she stands at the door, glancing all around her before peering inside. Monica is sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, as expected, this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Wait, who's the girl? Hold on. They make it seem like this is a new girl. Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Yuri! Oh, it was, it was Yuri. Why did it make it seem like it was, it was someone we didn't know? Yuri! What a surprise to see you during lunch! Yuri squeaks a response. Please help me! Is everything okay? Yuri shakes her head. I, I don't know how to write letters. <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought there was some kind of emergency. Monica briefly glances over her shoulder at her other friends. Do you want some help? We can go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad about taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine. I promise. We weren't even doing anything. One sec. Monica trots back into her classroom. Says something like, I gotta go to her friends. Then grabs a pen off her desk before returning to Yuri. Okay, let's go find somewhere quiet. Yuri nods and follows Monica as the two of them set off. How are you today? Me? Well, well yes. Oh, oh gosh, sorry. I was just caught off guard. I'm doing really well today. Just tired. I never seem to get enough sleep during the week. How come? Oh, I don't know. I just think I'm easily distracted. I get really sucked into things and start neglecting all the time. Me too! I do that too! Hey! Hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in here. After peering inside, Monica opens the classroom door. Then the two of them enter. Yuri's moment of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pulls two chairs up to the same desk, then obeys as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stares down at the empty desk. Are you nervous? I, I don't want to do this. I, don't, I really don't want to do this. We, we don't have to. We can come up with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good, and I'm going to do it. I need to take initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is to step out of your comfort zone. I'll be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lime paper from her notebook. Then she picks up the pen. Nice, nice. That is a nice scene. Hey, you're left handed? That's neat. Um, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. Monica playfully rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyway, 
How about we start off by listing different things you want to say to her? Mm, Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. It's okay. How about some of the things you said to me yesterday? But, never mind. I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension evident. Then she writes the word, reflection. That's the sixth fucking time. This isn't, this is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is why we act like this towards each other. But have we been able to separately be friends with Sari and Monica? That's me. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I, I'm aware of that. So, Yuri thinks. I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Mm-hmm. The same goes for Natsuki, too. We started off as pretty hostile to each other because I was so worried about getting what I wanted, but she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. I want to do that, too. So what kind of things do you want to do for her? I, I want... I want to do the same things for her that I like to receive. I like when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person, even when I'm not doing a good job of it. Let's write those things down. Okay, you are write some things down. I think the most important thing to remember here is that Natsuki is feeling vulnerable. So we should make sure that the letter puts her first. It's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it never helps to just tell someone all the things they're doing wrong. I think you first have to make sure that they know you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit the things that you feel you could do better on. Then finally, you could ask what you would like in return. How does that sound for the structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. I actually like that. My thoughts were so disorganized, I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh no, no stop. You've done much, so much more than I have, you know? You spent so much time reflecting, that's the seventh fucking time. And being open-minded, that's the hardest thing for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put it on a piece of paper. So I think you're the amazing one. Monica gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. But as she lets go, she's caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand in place. For a while, they sit like that in silence, save for the occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday, you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? The thing about how our feelings aren't right or wrong, and they're just a state of being that we need to come in terms with. It's made me think a lot about about how a person's behavior isn't always how they decide to be. It's also made up of their past experiences and their insecurities. I, I think that helps me see other people as actual people rather than as insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you felt about Natsuki? Yuri nods. But in reality, everyone is always trying to be their best. And everyone wants to be happy. Monica peers over at Yuri's paper, but to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer, partially covering it with her arm. <laughs> I have to be able to read it to help out, you know. It, it's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now, after being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I'd actually prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs softly to herself. A rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that one, actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing. I've done enough damage. But it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but... Yuri smiles. I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> But listening to you so much has really helped me make sense of things. So just don't call it damage, please. Monica gives Yuri a gentle smile. That doesn't look like a gentle... Okay, it actually did. 
I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I got was real friends who, va who value me. Is that a joke? Of course it is. I, I still can't tell with you. Sorry. No, I actually love it. Please never change that. As you wish. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club the same day that Nasuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. I might take a little peek, but... <laughs> Thank you. You better not peek at shit. Yuri exhales, and then the two stand up. I'll message you when this is ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. Yuri returns a nod, and then the two depart. Oh, that's how it ends. Oh my gosh. We're getting into the we're getting into the nitty gritty of this thing. I mean, we already did, but we're getting to the end. We have one more side story to do. And you know what? I might record it after I end this one because I need to know how this thing ends. I need to know. <sighs> I might take a little break and then go back to recording this. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.